Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the top 10 best add-ons you can get to keep your gameplay on point and to make sure we're keeping a clean cut, immersive UI. Got a couple bonus add-ons at the end, but let's get right into it. Starting off, we all know about weak auras, and yes, they're still one of the most important add-ons that exist. I would highly recommend grabbing the Curse Forge app if you haven't already. It's the easiest way to manage all of your add-ons, keep things up to date. It does all the things, but here are the specific few that'll directly affect you and your gameplay. So as we're heading over to wago.io, a great weak aura to grab is the raid ability timeline. This will be working hand in hand with your other add-ons like DBM and bigwigs. This is going to display all the mechanics from boss fights for both raid and dungeons in a very pretty, easy to read way. They give you timers and you can adjust almost anything you need to really make it fit what you're looking for. With that being said, and to go with the ability timeline weak aura, we have DBM, bigwigs, and littlewigs. These are simply going to deliver the boss mechanics information right on screen. More importantly though, these add-ons are going to feed their information right into the timeline weak aura, making it a little bit easier to digest that information. I use DBM personally and the weak aura replaces all the bars. I think it's just a way better format altogether. Here's a few more weak auras before we move on. Maybe I should just make a weak auras video after this. Yeah, I'm going to do that. But we got to take a look at the Doom Cooldown Pulse Weak Aura. This is going to pulse the icon of the ability that you used on your screen when it's coming back off cooldown. Of course, it gives you the options to shape the icons that pop up. You can even blacklist certain abilities that you're really not trying to deal with. All in all, it's a pretty nice visual reminder that your ability is about to be available once more. Now, if you're looking at a new character or just a quick setup, I would always recommend Luxthos.com for full-on Weak Aura packs. All of his Weak Auras are extremely useful for your entire class, and it's a nice way to just get a quick jump start right into the gameplay. Another add-on that'll help you customize your WoW experience is Nameplate SCT. This is a completely customizable combat text that you could change at any time. You could change the fonts, how they flow off the mobs, customize the size of the numbers. It also comes with this built-in unique look showing off the ability's icon right next to the number, so you can always clearly tell what's doing what. Nameplates are also something we want looking as clean as possible while still getting giving us the crucial information we need. And Plater is going to help us with that. This is essentially weak auras for your nameplates, and it gives you the options to do whatever you want. Not going to lie, this is an absolute massive add-on, and there's a lot to go through. But luckily for us, we don't have to, because everybody else already did. I would always recommend just getting different already existing profiles from other people. Or at least start off with someone's as a base, and you could start making changes from there. It's going to save us a lot of time. The one I use and would highly recommend for you is the one from Quasi. This guy's a madman when it comes to his UI setups, and you can find it on his website in the link below. The next one on our list is Omni CD. This add-on is going to be your party's cooldown tracker. This provides us with your team's abilities right next to the party frames. It's going to be listing all your cooldowns, all your big defensives. It even gives us an interrupt bar so we can start keeping track of all of our interrupts. As with most of these add-ons, there's plenty of customization to be had here. You could set it up to only appear when you're in PvP or Mythic Plus. Then you could even pick and choose each individual spell from each class that you're looking to keep an eye on. They have a pretty simple and straightforward layout so you could start going through each spec and see what you're looking to keep track of. For example, if you have a fire mage in your party, it may be really nice to see when his next combustion is going to be coming online. This is definitely a nice one to have on deck if you don't already. Now let's get into more of the immersive quality of life add-ons. Speaking of quality of life though, think about hitting that like button for me as it lets me know you're enjoying this video and it helps me out a lot. Thanks so much everybody. D model is the first quality of life fix being brought to the table. It's a simple and straightforward add-on allowing us to stack and move any window in World of Warcraft as a modern window based UI would. So now we can have our professions window open while we move around the auction house window and have our character screen propped where we'd like it. You could shrink the windows, you could blow them up. It's a great addition to the game. Next up is dialogue UI, the replacement UI for dialogue and quest text. So right off the bat, the quality just beats out what the default quest pane puts out by a long shot. I mean, it looks beautiful. I'm a big fan of the camera zoom they have it gives this nice cinematic feel every time you talk to an NPC, and it makes the quest line and narrative stuff in WoW just feel a lot better. Like, when it comes to the quests, I'm usually freaking out trying to click everything to collect all the quests super fast, but when I'm using this, it allows me to slow down a bit and actually enjoy different parts of the game. You got dark modes, light modes, the setup is very intuitive and easy to customize. I used to use immersion, but after fiddling around with dialogue UI, 
and what it has to offer, I certainly won't be going back anytime soon. And I really think you got to give this one a try. Another few options that we have, if you're not a fan of the base bag UI, go take a look into Addy Bags. It's still one of the best add-ons for managing and sorting your bags. You do have other options like Bagnon, which I'm sure works well. I just haven't used it myself. Um, Addy Bags works right out of the box. You don't have to set anything up if you don't want to. And it allows for all different categorization alongside different layouts, search options, and a hell of a lot more. Next up is Narcissus. This thing is the bee's knees. This is giving a plethora of options from a simple way to put your sockets on your character without having to drag this stuff all over the place. You're going to be getting the best photo modes in WoW. You'll get to see your stat weights in a very clean, immersive way. Simply put, if you want to see your character screen in a more thematic way, this is certainly going to come through for you. Let's move over to the add-on Opie, which at this point is ingrained in my actual playstyle. This lets you open up a whole ring of different abilities that you can set with one keybind. For example, you can have all your raid buffs like flasks, foods, weapon oils, all available to you on one keybind. And one of my favorites is even putting all your markers in one custom ring so you're able to mark different targets or areas on the fly extremely quickly. This is another highly customizable add-on with different fade in and out options. You can have it do this really cool spin effect which I really don't like but you know it's there. But really though this is another one that's worth your time. Now that you have all these additional add-ons don't let them clog up your screen or your mini map. So here comes the mini map button bag or the MBB add-on to clean that up. This takes all those little icons and condenses them into one single bag on your minimap. It's simple, but if you plan on going all in with new add-ons and things to play with, this is the way. Hit that like button if you liked the video and feel free to check out one of these other videos coming up on your screen next. Toodles!